Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy. Good morning, T-Birds. It's Faith. And I'm Vanessa. Today is Wednesday, February 27th, and you're watching Mount Tahoma TV. Today is Black History Month. We're talking about Carter G. Woodson, born December 19th, 1875. He died April 3rd, 1950. Woodson was a historical author and journalist. He authored The Miseducation of Negro in 1933, one of the most important books of the 20th century. He also launched the celebration of Negro History Week in 1929, which was eventually expanded and renamed in what we know today as Black History Month. If you could change something about this school, what would it be? Um, the tardy policy. Yeah, that's true. They're a little hard. Harsh. Um, yes. Being late. That's the question Mount Tahoma TV reporter Kevin Perez wants to know. Here's what he found out. Hi, my name is Kevin with Mount Tahoma TV, and today we'll be asking staff and students about school change name. Jayla. And what changes would you like to see from the school? Open campus because we leave anyway. Um, I would like the school to be an open, cam an open campus. I'd like to see students take more ownership of the school. I'd like to see them leave kind of a legacy for the next generation that's coming up. Again, I'm Kevin with Mount Tahoma TV, and that is what the staff and students want for the school to change. Back to the desk. Just a heads up, Acupacer test is today. Go to the Career Center for more information. Good luck, T-Birds. If you had $10,000, what would you do? Um, I would buy a car. Me too. Well, that's how much this, the Tacoma Pierce County Health Department wants to give out for school improvements. So they need your help to decide what to do. All ideas will be collected next week. Eventually, there will be a student vote from the top 10 ideas. Knowledge Bowl. Heads up for those interested in the Knowledge Bowl. There is a makeup event tomorrow at Lakes. Speaking of changes, there's a, f a new book for the Project Lit Community Book Club. It's called The 57 Bus by Doshka Slater. The nonfiction book is about two high school students from Oakland, California. Get your copy at the library today. Monday is the first day of spring sports. That includes track and field, boys soccer, and girls water polo, and boys basketball. Mount Tahoma T-Board reporter Bethan Yen catches up with a few athletic athletes to see how things went. Hey T-Birds, it's Bethany and uh, today we'll be talking to your fellow students about their first day of spring sports. I'm um, playing baseball and first day of practice was cold but it was fun. Um, I'm playing soccer and it's going very well. Um, this is my first year and it's going to be more competitive and it's going to be really hard just to be on the team. Um, well, I'm going to be doing track, and I'm going to practice today. I didn't go yesterday, but I'm expecting a lot of conditioning and running and stuff, so. I play tennis. Uh, the first day, it's all right. It's all right. Just boring practice, that's all. Just hitting the ball. <laughs> what are you expecting this year out of your team? Uh, expecting, hopefully, I'll become better with my hitting, my swings. Because last year, I was stuck at it. <laughs> Uh, I'm playing soccer, soccer. Um, I didn't go to the first day of practice, but I'm going to today. What are you hoping to get out of your first day of practice? Nothing much, just like the first week is just conditioning, so just get conditioned. I'm playing tennis. Um, um, I just hope to bond with the girls and um, improve my playing skills. Well, that does it for today's news. Thank you for tuning in. Again, I'm Faith. And I'm Vanessa. Subscribe to us on YouTube to never miss a story. Once, Once a T-Bird, always a T-Bird. Have a great day.